What mental preparation did you do to handle facing the people on your recent mission? Um, I'll take that for a sec. Or do you want to take that one? No, go for it. Um, For those of you that don't know what that question is in context to, um, Saxion and I went on a mission with Operation Underground Railroad. And Operation Underground Railroad is a... um, a human trafficking, sex trafficking organization uh, that my buddy Tim Ballard runs. And uh, we were out of the country on an undercover mission, doing some things, looking for some people. Um, yeah, we, mm-hmm. we can get into all the details of that later, but that's what that question is in context to. And it's interesting because I've been asked that a ton. How do you deal with it? How do you look at these people? How do you, you know, how do you literally stare at and talk to and engage with people that are talking about very, very, very dark and demonic things like selling children Mm -hmm. for sex. Um, I feel like for me, one of the, the, the driving factors is thinking about each of these kids as my own kid. And the reality is what would I do? Who would I need to be in order to write this to save my kid? Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like if, if it was your kid on the other end of this, you would do anything, be anything, say anything that you needed to, to get your kid back. And that's kind of how I do it is I, part of me looks at these people and I'm like, dude, I just want to put you in a hole. I mean, real talk. But I also realized too, that some of these quote unquote bad guys are literally the, the gatekeepers to Mm -hmm. the mission that we're on, which is to rescue children and to get children out of this thing. So it's not, I don't want to sound weird, but it's not as hard as you would think for me. Um, it's very emotional without Mm -hmm. question, because I look at these people and think to myself, I would love to do really, really, really terrible things to some of these human beings. Um, but I think about my kids, that's what I do when I go into that space and know that we're going to be talking to people and facing these people and, and doing this work. I literally just visualize my kids. Um, and it makes it a lot easier for me to interact and, and converse with them. What about you, babe? Yeah. This Um, was your first rodeo so this was my first rodeo it was so everything you said is also how i feel about it secondly though i i know that my truth is that i know i was put here on this earth to do scary things and part of doing scary things is showing up in the face of danger and evil and Like, somebody has to do it. And I know that I'm equipped to do that emotionally, spiritually, physically. This is why I take care of myself in all areas of core four so I can go and do hard things. Gunner, you are annoying. (laughs) So I can do hard things because some, you know, somebody has to do this work. This is their, this evil is real. I've seen it with my own eyes, I've heard it with my own ears. To say, oh, somebody else will do it, that doesn't, that's not okay. Like, the, And I'm okay with being that person. So a lot of it's just planting my flag and knowing that I was put on here to do a mission in life and this Mm -hmm. is part of it. And I just go for it. Yeah. It's not easy. But at the same time, it's not as difficult as you might think. Yeah. Um, Being in character, in role, whatever, whatever, because you have a job to do. And I think as a parent, most parents would understand that. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? But I also strongly, strongly, strongly encourage all of you to look into, uh, this is not a plug you know, I no. guess it is a plug for OUR. I'm going to plug OUR. I strongly suggest every one of you who's listening to this, go check out OUR. Uh, go look at their website. Go look at what they do, um, the organization. There's a lot of organizations out there, but I love Tim. I've, I've known Tim for years, and I'm very, very, very much uh, a believer. If I'm going to donate my time or money, I want it to go to something like this. Yeah. So. Yeah, and I am um, being, around, being with that organization and with the people in there, I, my, my biggest takeaway, well, one of my biggest takeaways was that they're, they're so committed to doing good. And there's a lot of, you know, people have, a lot of trolls have opinions on this, this stuff because it makes you, I think it just makes people uncomfortable. And I can, I can say being in, around those people, around that whole thing, it's like, I would do it over and over and over. Mm -hmm. and, And I'm putting my life at risk and I, you know, like. And my husband, like, we're in this, but I, like, I fully support what they do. It's it's beyond beautiful. 